What up, bros and hoes, peeps, and creeps? This is Bodala coming to you live from the Crow's Nest. Um, I am coming to you from the Crow's Nest in honor of the video game I am going to be reviewing. Um, that video game is, without further ado, Prey. Um, now, since it was made by uh, 2K, 3D Realms, um, since then, it's been taken up by uh, Bethesda, I believe, and ID Games, and they're making the second one. And um, the idea is that you're Native American. Uh, that's just it's just the situation at hand. Um, your name is Tommy. Let me repeat that. You're a Native American. Mm -hmm. Your name is Tommy. Meanwhile, everyone in the whole thing, every every Native American you're hanging out with, they're, uh, they're, I think, Cherokee? Pretty sure they're Cherokee. Might not be Cherokee. Hope I got that right. But you have a grandpa who's very traditional about your Cherokee heritage, and you have this girl, I forget her name, um... All I know is she's played by some person like Ravenous Lightning is her real name. So she's really a Native American, um, and she has a Native American, like, cool like Native American name, as opposed to these stupid white names that we gave them. He totally should have been called something awesome, um, like Chosen Soldier or something like that. Something cool, like... I don't know. I I don't know. Like destined hawk, something something that meant that he was important from the get go. Cause he is. He is apparently the savior of all humanity. Go figure. The first person, um, uh, first person shooter where you're the savior of all humanity. I don't think that's ever been done before. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, the guns, uh. I'm just going to go on to the gameplay. Well, actually, I should continue with the storyline. So, you're in a bar, right? And your casino business is just a bunch of computers where you play poker. Like, a bunch of, like, video games. <laughs> you even make a comment on it, like, Ooh, the family's lucrative gambling business. uh -huh ho Like a sarcastic comment. You really want to get out of there, but everyone else wants to stay there because it's your land and... You you know, your people were there, but you're kind of just like, screw this place, um, and as you're saying, screw this place, a good argument comes in your favor when a bunch of aliens attack and abduct everybody, so you're like, hey, we should have left, <laughs> um, so then, um, you're on an alien ship, uh, you see your grandpa, uh, this is where the spoilers come in, you see your grandpa, uh, get murdered, brutally by a bunch of like weird tendril tentacle rape monster thingamajigs um and then he ends up in the spirit world which you go to for training um which they could have done so much more with that um but there's so many uh cool puzzle based things in the game where you use your your spirit right you can send your spirit forth he has a bow um he's undetectable until he fires that bow um, and you have spirit energy to use him. Uh, again, if they attack your real body while you're using your spirit body, your spirit returns to your body immediately. But um, the idea is that there are hidden paths that your ancestor is left knowing that this would happen. Um, there are these hidden paths they made with this like spirit, um, spirit bridges and things. Um, so you're able to use your spirit to walk on things that your body can't walk on, which helps with puzzles, uh, and unlocking doors, and there are these portals, and on the back of the, of the game, I can't, I can't stress this enough, it says no one does portals better. Suck it, Valve. No one does portals better. Prey, Prey does it the best. Sorry. Now, it's really, the physics engine with Valve is different, but, um... In terms of, like, this being a game by 3D Realms, it really does um, do portals fairly well. 
uh, now you can't, like, make them or use them in some sort of weird physics dimension, um, but you can walk on the sides of walls, there are these weird gravity panels, you shoot them, and then the gravity shifts to that area, um, it's really got a lot of physics dynamics, and it's really before it's, it's really ahead of the times, really. Um, I'll be honest when I say that, um, is it really is, and, um, so you can send your spirit forth, solve puzzles, whatever, um, in terms of the shooting and the gameplay, really not that exciting, uh, pretty forgettable in terms of gameplay, the weapons you use don't reach their full potential, nor does your spirit power reach its full potential, you should be able to gain, like, extra spirit abilities, like, that guy should gain, like, a power to not just shoot his bow, but to, like, attack people with, like, tomahawks, or to, like, go into some sort of mode where he... I don't know. It just... It, it's just... There's so much potential, and it's kind of wasted. Um, I'm not gonna say that the budget is very obviously um, shown that it's cut, um, but I can see that uh, they were either on a rush to get it out there, or their budget was cut somewhere along the way. Um, the graphics are really good for its time. Um, it, yeah, I mean, it's really surprised me when I got it that the graphics were as good as they were, um, and the elements in the game were as good as they were, but in all honesty, it's kind of a forgettable game. I hope that Bethesda really ups its uh, ability, because it is it does have a lot of potential. Oh yeah, and in the end of the game, here's the thing, well, you're obviously, your grandpa dies, but the girl that you like, obviously love interest, all that sort of thing, you know the drill, uh, you gotta save the girl, and, um, you're all like, damn it, I wanna save this girl, blah blah blah, um, what happens with that is she's all like, at some point you see her, she's in a capsule, and she's like, I can't feel my legs, and then all of a sudden she's like, this weird monster with like, a bunch of weird, like, gross alien transfusion attachments, and, like, she has this gross monster right under her vagina, and it's just, oh, it's so brutally horrible. And her arms, like, she should have said she couldn't feel her arms, too, because her arms are just sucked into these weird things, and it's just, ugh. Ugh. It's like her, her body is just, like, like, she was a butter bottom. You know, like, everything was cool until you saw what the hell was going on downstairs, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, uh, it was just gross. It's like, imagine, imagine Ariel's, Ariel's body, well, no, imagine, like, Ariel's, like, torso and up, and then out of nowhere, just, like, Ursula's body attached to the bottom, right? Like, just like, ooh, ooh, oh, ugh. Um, so yeah, that was kind of like a WTF moment, um, in the game, and it was kind of, it's kind of messed up. You gotta kill her. Uh, I said spoilers earlier in the video, so don't you dare get mad at me. I said spoilers before, because I started ruining the storyline. You gotta kill her, it's sad. And she ends up in the spirit realm, so it's like no real consequence, but... Then, then, later, the end of the game, after you beat the whatever-the-heck alien, who's like, ooh, we created Earth so we can harvest it, and then we create it again so we can harvest it again, there is no God, blah, 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 atheism, rules. That's just the vibe I got, okay? <laughs> um, then it was just like, you destroy that person, you end up in an orb thingy, and the orb has all the power. Orb. Orb's got all the power. I think that's where a lot of video games got their ideas. It's from that, the magical orb that has all the power. Nice. You know how in a lot of video games you get like orbs, like magical orbs. Specifically in like Devil May Cry or something like that. Never mind. Um. <laughs> Any hoozles. Uh, so. Um, in the end, you have this orb thingy, and that's what the main keeper has, and oh my gosh, so if you've ever played Mass Effect, um, if you remember the keepers, they're those weird bug-looking things, there are these things called the keepers in this game, which predates Mass Effect, look the exact same, so I think, 
2K actually as a possible lawsuit here. Um, but I don't think they're going to do it. But they're literally the exact same. Look the exact same. Like, I can't make that up. Like, I was like, ooh, keepers. I remember in Mass Effect there were keepers at the Citadel. And they were like aliens that no one knew why they were there. Um, but they actually had ended up controlling a bunch of, like, things in terms of fate and everything. Literally the exact same concept as in this game. The Keepers, except it focuses on the Keepers, right? The Keepers are these evil people, they control fate, and they're just stationed randomly. Um, yeah. Totally, totally weird for me, because I was like, wait, Mass Effect stole that idea word for word. <laughs> So that was kind of messed up. Uh, anyways, so at the end you get the orb, you destroy it, and then, because no one deserves that much power, rawr. Um, then you go back to the spirit world, and they're like, you cannot join us here in the Cherokee land, blah, blah, blah. Which, the, the alien keepers totally, I forgot to say this, they totally managed to get there. Which, like, how did you... What? It's like a different dimension. And you didn't know where it was, and you say you're all-knowing, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so the Cherokee has, the Cherokees have this, like, secret area, place, where when they die, that's where they go. And so, at the end, you're there. I mean, that's where you learned your spirit power in the first place. And there's a part, I have to, I keep digressing, but this is very important. There's a part in it, also where it's like, you need to go through these seven trials and learn these seven abilities, and I'm like, yes, finally, more abilities, and then it cuts you off um, at the first one, where you just get more health or something, and it's like, oh, sorry, you need to destroy things and get back to the real world, and it's like, what? No, I want more power! <laughs> it's like, you clearly just botched that, and just randomly, ugh... Uh, but any hoozles. Um, so then in the end you're there, and then they're like, you cannot be here. I'm talking in the grandpa's voice, which is a very stereotypical, like, Native American voice. Like, you must go back to the world. You're needed there again. Yes, again. <laughs> and then he goes there, and then he meets this one person who's part of the plot. I'm not going to keep digressing. You can just figure it out. This one person who was plot part of the plot before, who ended up surviving because she was saved by a different alien race, and that alien race wants to recruit you for something. And that's that. And then it's like, ooh, the mission continues. You need to save another galaxy or whatever. Um... I'm really looking forward to the sequel, because I think it's going to be infinitely better than the first. Um, this game came out so long ago. Um, if, you want, if you want a video game where you can get easy achievements, uh, the story mode... Uh, first off, there's no consequences for dying, by the way. You just go into this weird place where you shoot a bunch of eagles. I can't make this shit up. You just shoot a bunch of eagles with arrows, you get, you regenerate a certain amount of health and speared energy depending on how many eagles you kill, and yeah. That's it. Then, then you just, you reappear, and everyone's none the wiser that you were dead, um, or were there in the first place, so you just sneak up and kill people again. Um, so yeah, it's literally no consequence if you die, um... So you might as well play on Cherokee difficulty. And so in terms of achievements, if you're an achievement junkie like myself, who has uh, 52,000 gamer score, um, then that's not, that's not, the, that's just kind of like, never mind. There are people who have a lot more than that, but I'm proud of it. And you should be too. And... <laughs> Uh, if you, it, it literally gives you so much gamer score just for completing the story. And then the rest is multiplayer, which no one does. I checked. No one's doing the multiplayer. Um, maybe in your country there, depending on who's viewing this, <laughs> maybe in your country there are people who do the multiplayer, but I couldn't get matched. I waited like 20 minutes. Uh, so, no, but the storyline itself, you do Cherokee difficulty, it gives you like 700 gamer score. Um just for completing the story. So, worth it if you want gamer score, and it's 20 bucks. So, 
That's American, not Australian. I know Australia gets screwed over by the censor so much, so... My heart goes out to them. Um, but in America, in the United States, it's 20 bucks. Um, it's still, it's at its lowest price. Um, so, go out and buy it if you want it. Do I recommend it? If you want the achievements, yes. But otherwise, just wait for the sequel. It should be coming out soon. Um, so, yeah. That's my review on Prey. I hope you enjoyed this. This went a little longer than I thought it would. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoyed or found it informative or if you just like the way I look, even though I look like shit right now. Um, but, yeah, this is Bodala signing out.